every opportunity she had to do things the easy way, she chose not to. So I would do uh, Ask well, Riley on your morning show. You ask, she answers. Uh, Eric, faithful executive producer, good morning. Good morning. Today's question. Hey, Riley. Hi. I just want to say how much I looked up to you as one of the cool moms. I love that you're dedicated to your boys, but you still make time to be the hot mama that you are Aww. and also kill it in your career. My question is, how is it being an all-boy mom? Like you, I always thought I'd be a girl mom, and I'm having my second boy in November. And if I'm honest, I'm kind of bummed because I wanted to have at least one of each. And we are done after this one. Oh, well, you know, yeah, I I cried actually both times when I found out that my kiddos were going to be a boy. Like with Lyric, 100% knew it was a boy. I just had a feeling knew it was going to be a boy. I was like, yeah, it's a boy and, you know, meh. But... I said the same thing with Malin. I got no Malin. I was more vocal about it. I cried because I was so sick. I was violently ill. So I thought it's got to be a girl. It's got to be a nasty little chicken in me that's <laughs> sure. making me sick. But here's the thing: once they come around, it was very apparent to me that God knew what He was doing by giving me boys. And my sister said it best because she is a boy and a girl. She's like, for you. Boys are the way it's supposed to go because boys will forever love their mama, and there is truly nothing at all like the love of a boy because it's just you're their first love and imagine the same thing with girls and their daddies and i just feel like i'll be real real honest about this i grew up in a family of mostly women and there was so much competition within the family even a mother daughter weird dynamic like that with all the mothers and daughters in my family and i really think that i was fortunate to kind of dodge the bullet on that of course you're not supposed to have competition with your children but you know what let's be real it happens and I think I was very concerned about becoming an all-boy mom because I was a very much a girly girl growing up I did ballet and all that stuff like what am I going to do with sports how am I going to teach him about stuff when stuff's growing that I don't have and what I'm talking about facial hair Mm -hmm. why what what is wrong with you Eric I went the same way I think think we all probably did well that's not what I was trying to say But that too, I guess, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like I wasn't, I was, you know, I can have him call his uncle or whatever, but I was concerned about all of that and it all works out because really all you can do as, as a parent in general, not just a mom is do your best, love them hard. And I really think it's cool to have little boys and in regards to having your second and being disappointed that you didn't have a different gender, they're such different people. It's such a different experience. So I don't really think you lose out on anything by not having one of each. And also, side note, I hear this like pressure that she's probably under like, we're done. Because I still to this day from my cousin gets, oh, you need to try for a girl. You have to try for a girl. I'm like, a charm. Stop it. But it, I, you know what? It, it's going to be okay. And I know that sounds very like cliche or whatever. It, you're going to experience so many different things with the second one that it's all going to be fine. It all just works yeah. out the way that it's meant to, I think. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, and of course, the kids are adorable. Which Thank is, you. Uh, yes. If you uh, want to do a question for Ask Riley, DMs are open. 